What is going on guys? We are getting ready to head to Palm Beach Dino. Now I'm really excited, I actually got a new delivery in this box right here. And you guys have seen that I've used wood for a while to get the cars in and we got a solution. I'm excited. Lewis, you wanna pull it out? There you go. My camera keeps fogging up, but it's all right. It's humid. Race ramps. Race ramps, baby. Yes. This is real stuff. So we've used them before and they make loading a car in the trailer so easy. They're super light. I'm excited, let's go ahead and try them out. Yeah, so we just do that, put them right under the wood here and we'll be good to get the car loaded in the trailer. Under, you put them under it? Yep. All right, I think we are set up in place. Luckily it kind of makes some tire marks here over time. So it's pretty easy to figure out where the car needs to go. And we're gonna go start up the car and bring it in the trailer. Time to tie this thing up and get ready for some Palm Beach Dino action tomorrow. Oh yeah. All right, well, we'll check in tomorrow. All right guys, it is the next day in the morning. We are headed to West Palm Beach. We're all loaded with the F-250 and the trailer. So let's go ahead and get on the road. My glasses are fogging up. I think the camera's fogging up, so let's go. All right, we just filled up some E85 and some gas containers. Now let's head to Palm Beach camera still fogging up if you guys haven't already pick up mustang lifestyle america decal they're pretty awesome so link down in the description go pick one of those up and let's head to palm beach dino woohoo we made it race ramps race i'm ramps. so excited to have these Awesome. Look at that new license plate. Vlogception. Make 900? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 900, that's the goal. 900 to the new 800. Everybody needs Hear that? 900 is the goal. Oh, I need to climb in this thing. Gonna get in there, race car driver? I hate, I hate doing it. <laughs> Look at him, it takes off his shoes and everything. Yep. Got Lewis doing the heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. Like a big man. Bringing the muscles. Big strong man. <laughs> So maybe explain why it runs like that. Uh, it's just a, a bass tune. We got brand new injectors in it, so it'll run a lot better once we get yeah. in there. We have I just, I just felt like a disclaimer should be. Yeah, be we like, haven't even what? data logged it or anything. So <laughs> fuel trims are kind of like correcting for it, but yeah, yeah, it'll be fixed up. Oh, this beautiful thing. So the car is strapped down on the dyno behind us. We're gonna run it on 93 with the 3.6 pulley. Get everything tuned up, good for that. It doesn't really matter too much how much power it makes. Uh, I made 780 before, makes somewhere around there. Cool, 
We're gonna dump some E85 into it. It's pretty low, so it should be just enough to uh, run it a few times at 93. We'll get E85 in there, check the 3.6, and then we're gonna swap to a smaller pulley. Might be a 3.5, might be a 3.3. I have a 3.3 with me, but we're kind of debating whether we should go for the 3.3 or just the 3.5 pulley. We're trying to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 900. We're trying to get somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 on this car, so it should be a lot of fun. So, we should be ready to see what it does on 93. They had to do a little bit of tuning for the GW1200s, um, so they got the fueling good. Now it doesn't sound weird and all that, so we should be able to see what it lays down on 93. It's pretty much the same setup that we've been running, same uh, spark curve, everything. This is just pump gas. Yeah, this is just a pump gas baseline tune. I say that's pretty good. Right on the Got money. Our man James behind the wheel today. Rob and Ken consulting on tuning. Yep. Uh, that looks good. Nice. nice 93. Yep. Out of Yep. All right. So we got some pump E85. I'm gonna load in here. Don't make a mess. <laughs> so it's pretty low on gas right now, so this should bring it up to uh, at least 70%, somewhere around there. All right, E85 is in. It's on its way up. Yeah, so right at that spot, it's up over, uh, what is that, 43 horsepower? Yep. That's just on the first hit, so. Nice. Looking good? Very nice. Everything look good? That's just the first tune, right? Yeah, that's the first tune. I think we could probably throw a little bit more timing, and of course, we're going to try a little bit more boost, too. So. Yep. Andrew wants me to update on the numbers. Yeah, well, I already updated them. I want to know your reaction. Oh, <laughs> they're all right. <laughs> 848. I'm going to hit 900, though. Yeah, well, we got the smaller pulley. Yeah, we'll put the other pulley in and hit 900. I'm kind of a snob because I have to beat Lewis. Nope, 893. <laughs> Lewis, you know, this is what you look like from my height. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I have to watch it in the video. Nice. <laughs> Alright, slight tune changes. We're going to see what it does on the 3.6 pulley, and then it's time for the kill pulley. <laughs> I 
can't see the numbers, but I can see the gap. I don't know why it's not showing me. But, but that was we can see a gap. Right around 880. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'll restart the computer real quick here. I don't know why it's not showing us. 880. There Dang. 882. 882. 587. Man, look that at that. That is good. Uh, yeah. I think <laughs> that's gonna be You're gonna hit easy. nine. I think so. Yeah. That's looking Ooh. good. Yeah, I'm happy. All right, so, what is that, 9.5 pounds? Yeah, it still was under 10 pounds. Yeah, so, we got the full send pulley, 3-3. Three, three. We may kill a belt, may not. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we should break into the nines with this guy. Luckily, the pulleys are so easy to change on these. And the belts. So, we're just going to do a quick swap over here, same belt. Three pulley is on. Ken got it swapped out super quick. And now we should be adding somewhere around three pounds of boost to this. This should be pretty rowdy. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah What's gonna, it gonna make? It's gonna be oh, 900 for sure. <laughs> Always kind of questionable on a six rib, but yep. you know, it might have. Let's take a look at that real quick. Almost 12 meters, yeah, 11 and a half pounds. Yeah, so like right here in the mid range, it's up uh, a little less than two, and then right here, you know, is that slip? It's hard to say, it's a yeah. little bit wavy, but anyway, 921. That's awesome, Woo. yeah. And that's SAE also. Yep. There's not even a part of correction factor. Perfect. Awesome. I think that looks good. All right, so we're pretty much wrapped up. 93 octane, 36 pulley. E85, 36 pulley. E85, 33 pulley. And that just looks awesome. SAE smoothing five. Awesome. Only about 11.5 pounds of boost on the 3.3 and about 9.5 on the 3.6. All right, so car is tuned. I'm really excited, it makes really good power. Uh, we're gonna load in the trailer. These race ramps make it so easy. I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys wanna pick some of these up, but they're awesome. And let's get the car loaded. Uh, you guys will have to wait for the next video because we haven't even driven it yet, so. Uh-oh, we're getting trolled by an ST. Burnout. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring her in the trailer. The lip doesn't even touch, it's crazy. guys slap the like button down below leave a comment let us know what you think wait till the next video when we go take the car for a ride and see how it rips with 900 wheel horsepower 
So we'll see you guys in the next one. Supposed to be like like a good neighbor. Dude, you can't see it, but like But he's not really there to help us. Well, this, I mean he helps us like from getting crashed into but. this this um just happened and we did not call our insurance company, but they literally State Farm came to the rescue. We don't need that's so funny. Oh, he left. He said, screw you guys. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is not there. He's like our terrible neighbor. Yeah, so the tire <laughs> blew out. And we don't have a spare. That's cool. Yeah, oh, the tire blew. We'll, we'll just insert some clips. We're on the highway. Well, shredded. Yeah. Well, we managed to limp it to a parking lot nearby. Took the wheel off. Uh, we're just gonna come back tomorrow and replace the wheel. We're gonna take the 350R home. You have to sit in the back of your GT 350R, which, by the way, has no seats in the back. There is a back area, but there are no seats because the wheel exploded on your trailer and this is luckily you have a second vehicle <laughs> oh my goodness